As I look out at this crowd gathered today, I have to say I am very proud to be your president. Proud to know that all of you, students of the University of Alberta, are thinking about your place in the world. And to see so many of you here today, it shows your commitment to end poverty um, and in, in collaboration with the United Nations Millennium Development Goals. There are one billion people in the world who are now hungry and, and at risk of starvation. That's a terrible statistic and it's shocking and it talks so much about the maldistribution of resources and wealth in the world. Today and every day, we will stand, speak out, and take action for the Millennium Development Goals. We will not accept any excuses. We will not allow the poor to unjustly suffer the consequences of the economic, food, and climate crisis for which they bear no responsibility. So today, we stand up together against poverty and we stand up on the shoulders of many, many others. Ten, nine, eight, seven, Please, everybody six, come in from these five, sides. Everybody in, everybody four, in. Three, two, one, zero. Right, stand. Today's event is extremely important because we are asking our students here at the university, our faculty members, academics and uh, non-academic staff uh, to try to think about poverty in developing worlds and also right here at home. Just from looking right now, we have more people than we did in the last two years. Uh, and we didn't even have a finale event yet, which always brings out over a thousand people. Uh, so I think we did a fantastic job. The outreach was amazing. I think anybody who stepped foot on campus and walked around, knew about Make Poverty History, and knew about the event. This is the grand finale of today's Stand Against Poverty event. It's put on by many groups, uh, student groups at the U of A working together. The actual pumpkin drop, which is what I've organized here today, uh, is just the grand finale where we take a big 200 pound pumpkin and drop it on a van labeled Poverty so that we smash poverty. So you might think, okay, we're being sensibly destructive and wasteful when we're advocating against poverty. Some people might say that. So I will clarify, first of all, everything was donated today. So it's not that we raised money uh, and then put it towards something that's not really directly alleviating poverty. And second, uh, the pumpkin's going to be composted afterwards. It can't even be eaten as food because it's full of hormones, uh, growth hormones. So it can't even be eaten, so we're not wasting food. And the van is being donated to the Kidney Car Foundation, so the uh, crumpled van is not being wasted either. So nothing is being wasted here today. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1. Thank <laughs> you.